AFK journey, mobile or PC. Step into a stereo for free. Epic fantasy. Yeah, it's a RPG. And Happy April Fools, everyone. And in this video, we are going to be taking a look at what Dinosaur Simulator has added on its April Fools update. And this is one of the new creatures added. It is called the Spinophorus. And this is actually based off of a concept design on the Spinosaurus. And uh, yeah, here's what the model looks like. It has a little guy on the back that kind of falls off during the idle animation. Looks pretty cool. So this is going to be the walking animation. It kind of just like moves around like that. The running animation, not too different, looks like around the same, but just a little faster. The attack animation, pretty interesting, it throws like something out of its mouth it looks like. Let me see that, there's two attack animations actually. See there's the bite, and then, let me see the other one. Can't get it to do the other animation. There's three? Does it, I guess there's the one where he like throws the ball, and the one where he throws something else, I can't tell what that is. Pause the video to see what it's throwing out of its mouth, but. There's that, and then there's the AoE, which is actually fairly normal, I think. Let me see that again. AoE is actually fairly normal for an April Fool's skin like this. Or, it's not really a skin, it's its individual dino, and it costs 25,000 DNA. I have no idea if this is going to be limited or not, but um, I guess if you think it's going to be limited, buy it. But if not, then there's really no reason to. So the Spinophorus is actually more of an aquatic creature than a terrestrial one that's why it moves so slow on land it moves a lot better in the water it's gonna be the swim animation the swim up and swim down animations and it is also a carnivore so it eats fish it's the eating animation pretty nice and i don't know about the roars on this guy we could like let's hear the roars actually i'm curious this is the r roar okay now the call and the growl. So it actually has fairly normal sound effects too, even though this is an April Fool's creature. Uh, anyway, that's about it for the Spinophorus. Here are its elder stats. Alright, next up we have another skin, and this one is going to be for the Megalodon. Not the Clam, the Shark. Yep, the Clamrocle Clamarocles Megalodon is what this one is going to be called and it's basically clam skin for the megalodon it actually looks pretty cool from the front if you take a look at the teeth the teeth are really well made there's like a bunch of them in there and there's also the pearls inside the mouth and uh, the rest of the body is pretty rough but uh yeah not a bad model at all it's a bit expensive i'm pretty sure this guy is like 15,000 uh dna this is going to be the swim animation and the sprint swim animation swim up swim down pretty pretty typical and let's check out the attack animation. So this is the normal attack. Okay, just bites, I guess. It's, looks like there's two animations. There's the, the upper bite and then the one where he like swoops down and bites, I think. Let's see if we can get that other animation to play. There we go. There's a little bottom bite. And then there's the AoE. Oh wow, okay, AoE is actually pretty nice. It does like a whole, like, attack combo. Yeah, pretty cool. And, um, I don't know what kind of sound effects this guy has, because it is a shark. Let's hear the roar. Alright, the growl. Okay, so it does, definitely does have custom sound effects. You can hear the pearls in its mouth, and the call. And here is the E animation. Pretty typical. Alright, next up we have another Megalodon skin. This one is going to be for the Clam Megalodon. It's going to be called the Mega Fraud. And it's basically the complete opposite of the other one. It is a shark skin for the Clam. And this is what it looks like. This one's pretty funny looking. The head is huge. So this is going to be the walking animation. And the running animation is just like a faster version of the run it looks like. Or the walk. And the attack animations, I'm curious to see. So this is going to be the click. Okay, it kind of just hops forward and bites you. Looks like there's only one animation. And the AoE. Oh, that's pretty... What is that? It kind of like floats and like does a whole... Huh. Pretty interesting. Now let's see the roar. 
Wow, it actually, the eyes actually roll back into its skull, just like a real shark does when you do the roar. Look at that. And now the call. And the growl. So this guy definitely does have uh, custom sound effects. Pretty cool. And here we have the E animation. Pretty typical. Next up we have the clay iguanodon and this is basically just a clay version of the normal iguanodon. Well not really because the colors are pretty different. It reminds me a lot of stop uh, stop motion animation, especially like the clayness of it. it. Looks like it's actually a mesh model, you can tell by how smooth it is. It looks like it's like from a dinosaur world mobile maybe. And the animations are really choppy if you look at the walk animation and the run animation. I think they did this on purpose so it looks more like stop motion. Here's the drink animation. Yep, and the uh, E animation. It looks like it's the exact same animation actually. Another thing is that the clay iguanodon kind of reminds me of the classic skins for how the animations are made. Like uh, how choppy it is I guess. And uh, yeah, let's check out the roars. So this is going to be the R roar. And the call. And here's the growl. Okay, so it looks like the sound effects are not custom but the animations are although i can't say they're particularly good and the attack animation is going to be like this in the aoe nice and uh, yeah that's about it for uh all the skins there is one more dinosaur i'd like to go over though all right so the last skin of this update is going to be called the false chicken and I'm actually not quite sure what dinosaur this skin is for, and I don't currently own it. But I do know that it exists for sure because, first of all, they announced it. And second of all, there's this clip where someone was able to get the false chicken. So I asked around, and it seems like what you have to do is that you have to use a flying aquatic. So any kind of aquatic that can fly works. The guy in the video used the Angelic Coelacanth. You could also use Kaiju Archelon, the Dragon Elasmo skin. Any of that stuff works. So what you have to do is that you have to find all of these uh, statues around the map. Uh, I'm not quite sure how many there are in total, but you have to find all of them. And then what you do is you just like touch them like this. And then you have to touch the one in the ice biome last, I believe. That, and I think that's the only requirements for it, but oh, here's another one of those statues. So these statues are very important. You gotta like fly up to them and touch the statue like this to make sure you collected it. And I think the last one that they showed in the video was a statue right around this area. And if I click on the statue, I should be able to get the false chicken. Let's see if it works. All right, looks like there it is. That is the last statue that we have to touch. And we just fly into it like so. All right, there you go. You can see the message right here. I have unlocked the false chicken. That's gonna be it for this video. That's everything for the April Fool's update. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next one.